Americana Outdoors proudly presents the 2016 Ranger Cup University Team of the Year Challenge between the University of South Carolina and the University of North Alabama. It's a cool event because it kind of is the culmination of our college contingency program. So this features guys that have uh, obviously beat some of the best teams in college fishing to qualify in order to get here. And then the event itself is just is, is a lot of fun and, and I'm definitely more exposed to traditional tournament angling. So having this Every Fish Counts format with the updates on the water and just seeing what that does to the intensity and to the competition is, uh, is a lot of fun to be around and, and something that uh, I enjoy. The requirements are simple. Just sign up online for the Ranger Cup University Incentive and it's free. Each angler must display the Ranger boat's logo on the front and back of their jersey per Ranger Cup rules. Then the top qualifying finishers at both the Boat U.S. National Collegiate Championship and the FLW Championship compete in a one-day winner-take-all fish-off. The rule formats are also simple. All legal fish over 14 inches are weighed and released from the boat. The highest finishing team will walk off with $2,000 in cash and prizes and bragging rights for the title of the 2016 Ranger Cup University Team of the Year. Wow, it's a long road to get to, uh, to qualifying for the uh, national championship. But we got here through winning the, uh, the FLW College Fishing National Championship. It's just surreal, you know, it's been class A treatment all the way, you know, being flown out here by Ranger boats and you know, getting to fish on a great body of water. You know, irregardless of whether it works out or not, you know, it's going to be a fun time. The awesome thing about it is you don't have to have a ranger boat to get into the contingency. Most contingencies you have to buy a brand new boat to be eligible, but this one you don't. Um, we have a big front coming in. Um, it's going to start, the front's going to hit right, as, right about blast off, and um, it's supposed to be raining and, you know, wind blowing th throughout the whole day we're fishing. So um, I, I think they'll be biting during the front. You know, I think we can catch them. Well, we kind of figured that uh, not having much time, we're going to have to fish shallow. But after getting out here, we ended up seeing that there's a bunch of fish deep. There's a bunch of bait deep. We're going to try to stick to those areas that have current, whether it be the discharge or the uh, intake. Just do whatever, whatever we got to do to get a bite. But we're going to try to stick to those areas that have moving water. Congratulations on getting here first and foremost. We're happy y'all you made it. We're gonna go ahead and get y'all set up to get out. Everybody knows the rules. The goal is to fish till three o'clock, last cast at three o'clock. Right now we got a lot of fog on the water, so leave your lights in, guys, you know, for at least the first hour, because there is quite a few boats already out here. The main thing, you know, obviously safety of the camera guys, they're kind of a high value asset. Their wives and girlfriends kind of like them. Good luck out there. Hopefully the fish will bite. And if there's not any questions, I think we'll get out there and see what this fog's gonna let us do and go fishing. Well, we start with coverage from South Carolina's Hampton Anderson and Chris Blanchett. Get up, get right up here. Let's fish all up on those damn rocks. Oh, oh my God. Oh, he's got it. He's got it, huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's a good first fish. Got him. That's how you start it, right here. Good way to start. Three point one three. They're schooling up there. Well, the only thing you know about stash is it works. So let the stash. I only bring it down on rare occasions. Mm. She's working. The University of South Carolina has an over 20 pound lead early this morning, while the University of North Alabama team finds themselves searching for their first bite of the day. 
And after hearing how well South Carolina is doing, let's hear what they're thinking. Man, it's kind of, it's a little bit mind blowing right now. I, uh, I really expect to get bit pretty quick throwing up on this flat just on the outside of uh, this canal, but hadn't happened yet. We're just gonna keep on until we find them. Find out if North Alabama can catch up later in the day. To learn more about the Ranger Cup University Contingency Program, visit rangerboats.com.